Sevich, high above the city of Sarajevo. The camera is showing you the press facility here where broadcasters from 14 countries are witnessing quite a duel between the East Germans with the Swiss applying some pressure. This is East Germany's number one sled, the driver, the young, unheralded Wolfgang Hoppe. He won the gold medal in the Boblets. He had the fastest time in the first heat here in the four-man competition. His time was 49.65, but right now he trails his countryman, Bernhard Lehmann, who has an aggregate time of 140.02. I don't think Lehmann had a real good heat. As we mentioned, he had some problems in Omega. I think Hoppe can come down this track at a sub-50 time again. Hoppe's a daredevil. To his coach's dismay, he still races around the countryside on a dirt bike in the summertime. The explosion and the push. Let's watch him at the start. 6.31 is what Lehman had. That's the time on the left. 6.32, only one one hundred off. But again, I don't think Lehman had a good heat. Let's see how Hoppe can continue his hot streak. Extremely competitive. They say Hoppe is a better driver down this course than is Lehman. Ten years younger than Lehman, too. We're going to see a lot of Hoppe in the next two or three Olympics. I'm sure of that. Betzig, Schauerhammer, and Kirchner all tucked behind now, just along for the ride. Okay, now we're going to be seeing Lehman's uh, split time of the left, 32.49, 32.50, just like Lehman, but this is where Hope he gets better in the bottom part of the course. Woo. Hope lets the sled do most of the work. He drives only when he has to, if he's in trouble, and through the labyrinths. He's perfect through here. I think he's got another great heat going. Very low as he comes around. The time to be 50-37, his 50-18. Puts him in first place. Again, he beat Lehman in the bottom part of the course considerably that time. Only three people have gone double dipping in the gold. Eugenio Monti, Ander Osler, and the great fine hard neighbor. But we may see it here again with that guy, Wolfgang Hoppe. Watch it, Hoppe come off the finish corner here. Watch what he does with his head. He ducks underneath the cowling. This is to gain a couple extra hundreds of a second because the finish line is past the bridge. Again, this is why the East Germans are 1-2. You're looking at Giannis Kippers, the Soviet Union's number one sled, Kippers from the Latvian Republic, after the first heat. He was in fourth position and has an excellent shot at a medal as he looks down the track, thinks about those in front of him, and thinks about what he has to do on this course. Uh, I'd say he's the last guy to can challenge these Germans, but he can definitely move ahead of the Swiss into third place because neither one of the Swiss had a real good second heat. And again, this is that new type of shark sled. This is to bobsledding what the rear engine car was to Indy. Fourth place after the first heat. He finished fourth in the two-man competition several days ago. He wants to improve upon that. Maris Poikens, Ivar Bursips, and Ivar Schneps are the pushers. They could easily have the best start time of this heat. 6.31 is what we're looking for. And the time... 34, not like his first time. Oh, the guy's still up. You see that? He just got down late. That's going to cost him some time. John, we saw Giannis Kippers set the course record at Eagles in Innsbruck, Austria, for the European title. What's the difference between the push times they had there and here? Well, here the push times mean, in Innsbruck, they mean so much more than here. Here it's more of a driver's course. Innsbruck is more of a pusher's course. Oh, he's so high there. He's going to lose some time. The bus is going to put that 32.49, 32.86. No, he's not as competitive as these Germans, but he can certainly catch the Swiss here. Not a bad line through Omega. This Down through nine as he heads to the labyrinth. Oh, just, you see how quickly that sled made the adjustment there? That's that shark sled. That's the articulation. Watch him in a finish. Fourth place, trying to move up on the leaderboard. His time, 50.96. That's not a very good heat at all. Jeff Jones, USA, in a 50.97. Giannis Kippers, the driver of the Soviet Union's number one sled. So Wolfgang Hoppe continues his drive for the gold, but to get it, he will have to withstand the attack of his countryman, Bernhard Lehman, and elude the pressure being applied by Silvio Jobelina. Jeff Jost of the United States is still in the hunt, presently in ninth place. We'll be back tomorrow with the medal race from Mount Trebevich.